Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hogging Face. In the two previous videos, I showed you how you could easily deploy Hogging Face models to Google Cloud, starting from the hub and using either inference endpoints or Vertex AI. And there's still another way to do this. So in this video, I'm going to show you the third way you can deploy Hogging Face models on Google Cloud, starting directly from Vertex AI and referring to models hosted on the Hogging Face hub. Okay? Let's get started. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you do, please don't forget to enable notifications so that you won't miss anything in the future. Also, why not share this video on your social networks or with your colleagues? Because if you enjoyed it, it's very likely someone else will. Thank you very much for your support. Unlike the two previous videos where we started from the Hugging Face Hub, um, this time we're starting directly from the Google Cloud Console, okay, and specifically the model garden page on Google Vertex. So uh, you can't really miss it. There's this thing called uh, Deploy from Hugging Face Hub. Let's click on this. And we see the same screen that we uh, saw when we deployed from the hub to Vertex, all right? But this one we, this, but this time we need to fill in the details, of course. So um, why don't we try Tiny Llama? Um, yeah, but I like the uh, the autocomplete here. Let's just select this one. Okay. Same region. Don't need a token. Model name, endpoint name. All looks good to me. Uh, that instance is selected for me. Sample request. Yeah, let's take, whoops, let's take this and use it later. And just click on deploy, right? And again, it will take uh, it will take a few minutes, so so I'll pause the video. But as you can see, you you know, if you don't want to visit the uh, the Hogging Face Hub, if you'd rather work directly from from Vertex and the Model Garden, you can absolutely do that. Um, this looks like a curated list, though. I don't think uh, I don't think you get uh, all the models, uh, but I guess the main ones are there. Okay, so let's uh, let's wait for uh, the model to come up, and then we'll test it. After a few minutes, we see the endpoint has come up and it's ready. Let's go back to the model garden, view our models, and now we can test it. So this is a llama model. It's been uh, pointing for chat, and we need to prompt it. Okay, so that's the that's the format. No system prompt, just a user question and the stop token. Okay, let's see if that works. France won the World Cup for the first time on June, July 15, 1998, when it defeated Italy. No, of course it wasn't Italy, it was Brazil. <laughs> All right, but at least the generation process worked. Anyway, creative AI. So there you go. Uh, that's how you deploy. And um, so in the previous video, I told you, don't forget to delete everything, but I didn't show you how. So I'll show you how now. So starting from that same page where we tested the model, go and undeploy the model. Okay, confirm. So this removes the model from the endpoint, but it doesn't delete the endpoint. Those are separate operations. So if you go to the list of endpoints, now you can delete it. Confirm. Okay, and it's gone. So you still have the model in the model registry, which I don't think is a problem. Um, but if you really want to delete that one as well, you can do that here, right? Which means, of course, next time you deploy it, you have to import it again. And, uh, well, I guess that would take uh, a little bit of time, right? Uh, yeah, let's just delete it. Okay. Okay, now it's all gone. Okay, so that's how you do it. So there you go. Uh, three different ways to deploy Hugging Face models on Google Cloud. Number one, uh, inference endpoints from the model page on the hub on our managed infrastructure. Number two, from the model page to uh, Vertex AI. And number three, which we saw in this video, directly from Vertex AI 
uh, referencing models on the hub. Okay. So I hope this found. So I hope this was useful. I hope you learned a few things and uh, and you will enjoy deploying models on on Google Cloud. Again, if you enjoy those videos, don't forget the thumbs up and the subscription. I really appreciate your support. And until next time, keep rocking.